Hey Possum fans, I'm back with another video and this is a DIY that a lot of you guys requested and I'm going to show you how to make DIY beds. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Stay Possum! The supplies you'll need are a pair of scissors a ruler some tape some cloth and I actually went out to buy these, but if you don't have any, you can also use old pillowcases or anything else that has a pretty cute design that you want to use. Some colored foam paper. Here I'm using blue to match my cloth, but if you don't have any foam paper, that's okay too. You can also use cardboard and decorate it later. A pencil or a pen, something to write with. Some glue. And something round. So here I'm just using the cap of the Play-Doh, but you can honestly use anything round. Some cotton balls and some really thin cardboard, so a really good tip is to use cereal boxes because they work great for these. The first thing we're going to do is use a ruler and we're going to make a rectangle. The width of the rectangle is going to be 5 inches and the height is going to be 3.5 inches high. We're also going to draw some margins on all four sides and each margin is going to be half an inch wide. Now we're going to cut the horizontal line here on all four sides. Once you're done, you should be able to fold all four sides just like this. Next, we're going to fold all the edges. And it might be a little easier to first fold the edges before cutting it like I did, so just do it the other way around. But it works either way. And now we're going to try to make a box. So what you're going to do first is you're going to fold the part where you cut out first and also that side and then you're going to fold the remaining sides. So this is the shape that we want and all we're going to do is we're just going to tape it all together. So once you're done taping, this is what you should have. Next, you're going to need to cut your piece of cloth and it's going to have to be a little bigger than your bed. So the size I have here is 5.5 inches wide and 4 inches tall. Once you have your piece of cloth, you're going to flip it over so the inside part should be facing up and you're going to take the cardboard and place it in the middle. Now make sure to check and see that the cloth will be able to cover all four sides of the cardboard. and then take some glue and we're going to glue it to the cardboard. Make sure to gently press and allow it to dry. And you're going to continue with the step for all four sides. Now you might have some extra fabric here, so what you're going to do is gently tuck it in and you're going to cover it up. Once you're done gluing all four sides and the glue has completely dried, this is how it should look. And as you can see, we have some extra fabric, but that's okay, we're just gonna go ahead and cut it off. Once you're done cutting, this is how it should look. Now it's time to make the bed frame. So what I'm gonna do here is take the Play-Doh cap, I'm gonna position it about halfway in, and I'm gonna trace it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Now we're going to make the second bed frame which is going to be a little smaller. So rather than position it halfway through, I'm going to position it just a little smaller. Once you're done, you should have two of these half-shaped circles. One should be bigger than the other. And then we're going to glue it to the bed, just like this. So I'm going to start by adding some glue onto the fabric and then I'm going to take the foam paper and I'm going to glue it on. Make sure to press gently and allow it to dry completely. And repeat the same steps for the other side. Once you're done, this is how your bed should look like. Now we're going to make the pillow. So we're going to cut out a piece of cloth that is 3 inches wide and also 2.5 inches in height. So I'm going to place the cloth on the table and make sure the inside is facing up. And what you're going to do is take a cotton ball and you're going to loosen it up just a little bit, place it in the middle, and then we're going to glue the sides of the cloth. So I'm going to start by gluing one side at a time. So just apply a little bit of glue. You're going to gently press and allow it to dry completely before you move on to the next side. 
Now repeat the same steps for all sides. Once the sides are completely dried, then you're done with your pillow. And the last step is to make the blanket. So here I just cut out another piece of cloth and it's about 3.5 inches wide and 2.5 inches in height. And we are finally done with our DIY bed. Well, thank you so much for watching, Possum fans. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as usual, if you make it, please be sure to share it with me on my social media. Love you guys. Stay Possum. Awesome.